seeing Brother Whitaker and Brother McLean on today. Just going to encourage you to keep on going. You know, this Holy Ghost is promise of anyone that call on the name of the Lord. So I just want to encourage you to keep calling and don't give up. But he said he will reap in due season if you thank God. Just thank God all so the same of the church. My wife, granddaughter, thank God for Sister Matia. Thank God also for Sister Titi. Amen. Thank God for yeah, the yeah, yeah. Minister Gregory soon will be white. That's it. Amen. That's thank, God. thank God also for giving us travel verses as we journey with Minister Gresham to Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. Thank God. Uh, the Lord gave him a drop of spirit, like uh, Elder David said. And all these years I've been going against aggression. <laughs> I've never seen him drive that far distance. But he was on the mission. <laughs> Glad he was able to accomplish, accomplish that mission. Oh, yeah. So we just thank God for just giving us travel and mercies over the days and how we, and how the Lord gave me also a drop of spirit to drive us on back. Bless you. Us in North Carolina. And before we got here, you know, the police pulled us over. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. I said, Lord, I said, you must be used to speed because I didn't, I had my uh, thing set for 75 because the, the speed limit says 70. But when I got together with the police, I also it says 60 miles an hour. I said, oh, Lord, I said, you're going to me. So as I go down the road, he came behind me. He followed me for almost a mile. And he took the right side. I said, I know he got me. But he didn't pull me for that. He pulled me for my high beams. And I didn't know the law in Georgia, you can't ride the high beams on, you know, blind somebody. That's it. They can't see. That's it. So I didn't know, so he gave me a warning. Hey, so I was mindful going in the road to him and I hit my high beams. That's it. So we just thank God. Yeah, we just Over the days of the highway, I didn't suffer no harm and danger to come in front of us. You know, the Bible said we're laying this together in God. So I'm laboring with my fellow servant here, Minister of Pierre Gresham. You know, I don't mind stepping in and helping them out, saying, I know, you know, we got to have the same mind towards one another. I know he would do the same for me. You know, we got to be like this, saints. I just ask y'all to pray for me. I need your prayers. Because I know, saints, I know what I know. I can't do nothing. Just thank God also for Mother Martin. I was just on the phone talking to me and Minister Gretchen. And I, she was really encouraging us. She was the truth. She was really encouraging us. I just thank God for the mothers in the church. I was actually going to pray for me. For God was going to keep me, help me. And that he will hold me up so that I live without him. I can't do nothing. So with this, thank God for being here again in Wilson. And actually I'm going to pray for the absent part of the church. Amen. We're not going to be before y'all long today. We had a long night. I believe we got to the hotel. It was 7 something this morning. And we didn't even get a chance to lay down until like 9 something. Mm -hmm. Until 10 o'clock this morning. Then we had to get up at 12 to come to church. You know, the flesh want to say, now unto him that is able <laughs> to keep you from falling. That's it. But we know the Bible said, man shall not know by bread alone, but by, by every word that proceeded out of the heart of the Lord. So we got to give you something. Yes. So we'll get started in Philippians 2. Chapter 2. The scripture came around, you know, during this trip. You can hit it 
because that means we'll move away. Philippians 2 Amen. and 4. Amen. It says, Look not every man on his own things. Look not. I'm going to tell you the truth, saints. If I was looking on the things of myself, I never would have picked up that phone and called me this aggression. I had my day planned out what I was going to do. I told my wife what I was going to do. I was going to do some yard work. I was going to work that night mm -hmm. to have some money for the trip coming up for the competition. That's it. But I saw that my fellow laborer was in need. He needed help. From Virginia no. to Jacksonville is not a run for a drive. No. I believe what, 10, 12 hour drive from where you used to live at? So I wasn't looking at myself. Is that look not every man on his own things? And I was looking at myself saying I would even never pick up the phone call me. I was thinking on myself. That's how we got to be saints. We got to get out of self. We got to not. We can't be looking at ourselves. What we can do for ourselves, but we got to look on the things of others. What can I do to help him? That's what it. can I do to help her? That's it. What can I do to assist the preacher? Mm -hmm. What can I do to assist the mothers in the church? Amen. Amen. Look not every man on his own things. Look not every man on his own things. But every man also on the things of others. I looked it over. I knew he could not um, faith the trip by himself. So I sacrificed. And I believe by sacrifice and saying, I believe Lord's going to bless you. God bless you. That's my belief. I believe by me sacrificing my time, sacrificing making that little extra money to help my fellow laborer, that's it. I believe God going to bless me. Saying, that's right. That's how you get a blessing. That's it. That's it. You don't get a blessing by thinking on yourself. Being inconsiderate. I just wanted to say that, get it out of the way. I just thank God for you, Minister. God bless you. Thank God for you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Let's thank God for all the songs and all the praises. You know, thank God for what, like Mr. Brennan said about Sister Matilda. You like to see all the people happy. That's a good, that's a good thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Jealousy is a bad thing. Yes. Yes. Thank God also from Mother Kirk's testimony. Amen. Everybody's testimony. All y'all testimony. Amen. But the song said, get in the word and stay there. Be ready. And be ready when Jesus comes. We know it's going to take the burden, saints, to help us and get us into the kingdom. And I believe that what you all Mother Kurt here is the word. Y'all heard the testimony. Amen. I'm not trying to knock nobody over there and overseas. But I'm going to tell you what she said in the testimony. Let's get Proverbs. Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11 and 14. Glory to God. I'm going to do a little something, saints, and get out of the way. It says, at Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 14, we're no counsel is. We're no counsel. I'm talking about the word of God. That's it. Where no counsel is. On every corner you see a church. But there is no counsel. That's it. Where no counsel is. Where no counsel is. The people fall. We got to always keep the word before the people, Minister Gresham. Because we don't keep the word before the people. The people are going to fall. Yes. So we got to keep the word before the people so they won't have no excuse. That's 
I see. The Bible says you are inexcusable, old oh man, whosoever thou art. That's right. That's we don't right. have excuse saints. We go. got the word right here. That's it. That's it. We yeah. got the word. That's it. We're in no council with. We're in no council. Mm -hmm. You can't say we don't have the word, saints. Oh, yeah. The word is here. That's it. Yes, it is. The word is cleaning up with people. Yes, it is. Lord the word is taking the cigarette out of the mouth. <laughs> the word is taking the pants off the females. The word is doing the saints. I thought I said, every corner you go to, you'll see a church. That's it. But the council is not there. That's it. You Where? see the people walking in, female with pants on. That's you right. see them coming out puffing on the cigarette. The council is not there. That's it. Where no council is. Where no council is. The people fall. We the people of God ain't got no busy falling sense. The word is here. The word is here. Yes it is. Glory to God. If the devil can defeat the preachers, the church will go down. But God to have somebody stand. That's it. He can have somebody to tell the truth. He can have somebody to cry loud. He can have somebody to spare night. He can have somebody to show you. That's what That's it. That's it. He can show you how to clean yourself up. He can direct you to the right one. Jesus Christ. That's it. The scripture said, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. We can direct you to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. Where no council is. Where no council. Mm. The people fall. You see them fall. Yes. Yes. You see the people falling all around. Yes. And they're trying to criticize the one that holding anything thing right. Why are they criticizing? Because the life you're living is condemning them. The life that we're living. That's why I say we got to be the light of the world. We can't let our light diminish while we're before the sinners. They need an example to see. We're no council. That's right. We're no council is. No council is. The people fall. The people fall. But in the multitude of counselors. In the multitude. That's right. You know, we got a multitude here in the Holy Temple. That's it. We got a, 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 a temple here in the woods in North Carolina. Yes. We got the headquarter church in Bronx, New York City. That's it. That's we it. got a church saints in Columbia, South Carolina. Yes, sir. Right. We got one in Petersburg, Virginia. Yes. A multitude of councils. That's right. A multitude of people don't have no excuse, saints. That's right. They don't have no excuse. Amen. Amen. God got a multitude of counselors. Uh huh. Of counselors. There Man is. Person, hold it in, Wilson, North Carolina, sir. Keep the counsel before the people. Tell the people that if they're doing something wrong, tell them to get it straightened up. That's it. You can't yeah. shoot a coat this day, sir. But God going to hold us responsible. You said your own self. Why you up there preaching? You washing your hands. That's it. You're keeping your hand clean. Amen. What is he doing? He's using a council to show you things. He's using a council, the word of God, so you won't fall. Amen. 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 Say what? We're this no says, council. We're no council. Uh, the people fall. The people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. When they fall, they want to try to condemn us. Yes. That's it. That's what you they think. You think you did, you think you did, you think you missed the whistle. Uh-huh. But we just going by what the scripture said. That's right. That's right. If you don't have no counsel, uh, you're going to fall. Hallelujah. And Mother Kurt, she realized that. With no counsel, she knows she was going to fall. She knows if she go back. There's a possibility saying she's going to fall. You got to have counsel. Hold it all in your first room. I think it's 
Corinthians chapter 15. Look at what I'm giving you. It's, 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 it's doing something. That's right. Elder David always said, if you can stop, stand up under this hammer, yeah. he said, he said if it falls on you, it will ground you to the pot. That's it. That's it. That's what it does. Read. Amen. That first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 1. Uh -huh. It says, Moreover, brethren. Moreover. That's it. Moreover, brethren. You got to keep on telling this thing. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep on telling this counsel. Glory to God. You gotta keep on telling this word of God. Hallelujah. You gotta keep on telling the people. We gotta keep on showing the people. Yes. Moreover, Amen. brethren, brethren, I declare unto you. You gotta keep on telling this thing. Because mm -hmm. right. we don't keep telling this thing. We're not going to have the counsel here. The people are going to fall. And yes. God is going to hold us responsible for not speaking the truth. But the Bible said, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you, I declare unto you, the gospel which I preached unto you. You got to keep on declaring this thing. You got to keep on declaring it. The word might not get him the first time. Glory. That word might not get them the second time. No. Nope. But long as they set it up under that word, they yes. God, that thing's going to prick. That's it's going to prick their heart. Yes, it will. That thing's going to make them cry and say, Lord, forgive me. That's it. Lord, I need help. Lord, clean me up. That's it. Moreover, brethren. I declare unto you. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Which I preached unto you. Which also ye have received. You have received. And wherein ye stand. You got to stand. stand. Mm -hmm. Read. It says, by which also ye are saved. Ye are saved. If ye keep in memory. If you doesn't keep God's word. Mm -hmm. in you if you doesn't hold steadfast to God's word. Amen. You might not get this thing the first time around. You might not get it the second time around, but you just stay under the word. That's it. You know, you got to stay in a garment. You may not get it out the first time when you wash it, but you keep working on this thing. Working on this thing. Working on this thing. Working on this thing. The whole, the whole garment is clean, but it's one spot. You're trying to get that thing out. You know you keep on putting Hallelujah. that chemical on and keep working on that thing. Hallelujah. That thing got to move. Yes. That thing got to live. So if you stay under the word sense. That's right. If you just can get grounded. You can, if you can just get rooted and settled. That's just right. Just stay in your life. Amen. I'll Glory tell you two things. That word will clean that stain up in your life. Oh, yeah. You would have had a hard time letting go. Right. That fornication, God will clean that thing up. You will see that spot start to disappear. You see God start to this right. spot of That's right. adultery. You see that spot start to disappear. What, what happened? That word is working on that spot. The word yes, is clean on that spot. The word yes, of God Lord. is being effective. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's why the Bible said, moreover. Moreover. You got to keep on preaching the thing to us. We break something up, say. Oh, we got to bring it up with the word of God. Moreover, brethren. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you. I got to keep declaring this thing because we don't declare somebody going to fall. That's right. We got the counsel here saying it's the word of God. The word that God is going to clean us up. Yes, 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 yes. Said, moreover. Brethren, I declare unto you. I declare. Unto you. The, unto you. Uh, the gospel which I preach. The unto gospel. You. I would tell the minister aggressive at the hotel. Pray for me. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be up here as a castaway. No, no. Going no, on the no, lifeline. No. Trying to save people. Mm -hmm. And I'm up here drowning myself. The word is not just for you, say for me too. That's it. Say, That's moreover, it. brethren. That's it. I declare unto you. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. The gospel which I preached unto you. Amen. Which also ye have received. Received. And wherein ye stand. You know, you can remember this thing, saints. You can't tell God you're going to receive this. 
using God counsel. God word is going forth, mm -hmm. and you is receiving it. You just make sure that you receive that thing with truth, a clean heart. Don't get upset with the word. You know, some people get upset with the preaching for what? All That's the right. Is doing is telling you what the word say. That's all we doing. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. Moreover. Moreover, brother, and I declare unto you. I declare unto you. The gospel which I preached unto you. Read. Which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Wherein ye stand. By which also ye are saved. By also you all, you all saved. If ye keep in memory. Yeah. That's it. You keep in memory what I preach. You're going to have to keep this word in memory, say. Mm -hmm. He said, how shall we escape? That's right. If, if we it. neglect so great salvation. Yes, yes, that's this right. This is a great salvation sense. That's right. That's Even right. they go against the flesh sometimes, this thing is a great salvation. Say, if. If you keep in memory. If you keep in memory. What I preached unto you. What I preached unto you. Unless ye have believed in vain. Lord. You don't want to be in God's church. No, no, no. Laboring in vain. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Anytime the word is able to clean you up, anytime the word is able to set you free, we don't want to be in God's church saints in vain. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, that whole that right there is John. Uh, St. John. John. I believe St. John 6. John, say John 6, 6, 26. I tell you what, start at the 23rd verse. Amen. Amen, that's... Start at the 22nd verse. 22nd? Yeah. Amen, the word of God, as St. John, chapter 6, mm -hmm. and verse 22. Mm -hmm. And it says, the day following... Uh -huh. When the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, Read. save that one wherein his whereinto his disciples were entered, Read. and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, Read. but that his disciples were gone away alone. Gone away alone. Albeit there came other boats from Tiberius nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. Uh -huh. After that, the Lord had given thanks. Given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples. When the people saw and didn't see Jesus or his disciples. Uh-huh. They also took shipping and came to Capernaum. They were Capernaum, looking for him. Seeking for seeking Jesus. Him. They were seeking for Jesus. That's right. Read. And when they had found him and on the other side, found them on the side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi. Rabbi. Whence camest thou hither? When came a thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Uh huh. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. It says, Ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles. Ye seek me not. So, you seek me not what? Because ye saw the miracles. Because ye saw the miracles. But because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Because ye ate of the loaves. Mm -hmm. And we're filled. It said, labor not for the meat which perisheth. Oh, yeah. Make sure you in here labor for the right thing, Saint. That's right. You know, some people is following the Lord in vain. Labor not for the meat which perisheth. We can be in here seeking the Lord. Hallelujah to God. But is you seeking the Lord in truth or are you seeking him in vain? We got to make sure that we're laboring for the right thing. Amen. Some people in the church, don't forget the reason why you're in the church saints. We in this to gain salvation, to gain eternal life. Some people are laboring for material things. That's it. Some people, like Mr. Gray said, some people are laboring here for titles. Some people are laboring for a good a wife. 
Some people are in labor to try to get a, a husband. Oh, yeah. Some people are laboring to try to get a pat on the back. That's it. You get a good job. Uh-huh. But all those things are going to perish. That's right. That's right. That's the only right. thing you're laboring for is going to perish. Mm -hmm. We need to be laboring for our crown saints. That's it. That would never fade away. That's it. Just make sure you're laboring for the right thing. Yes, yes, yes. Labor not for the meat, which perishes. So you could be in labor for their wife or your their wife or their, their husband. Yes. But it might come a time they might leave. Yes. So if you're not in this thing like you're supposed to, what do you think you're gonna do? If she leaves, you got your mind out of hot set on her, you can follow right behind. That's it. So make sure you labor for the right thing. That's it. That's it. Labor not. Labor not. For the meat which perisheth. For the meat mm -hmm. that perisheth. Uh huh. But for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Mm. Uh, labor for eternal life, son. That's it. That's it. That endureth unto you everlasting life. I'm not trying to labor for a piece of flesh. No, no. You better not be in trying to labor for a title. That's it. The old thing's gonna come. But you just make sure you got your mind on your heavenly kingdom. Yes, yes. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's right. And all his righteousness. He said, all these things gonna be added. That's right. That wife you want, God gonna give it to you. That's it. That husband you want, God gonna give it to you. Yes. You desire a title, God will give it to you. Yes. But don't just be in labor for the material things. Make sure you're laboring for your crown. Yes. Amen. Amen. It says, labor not for the meat which perisheth. That perisheth. But for that meat which endureth until everlasting life. And they go through the the rest of this chapter says, God was kept talking to him, but that's why I said the council. Yes. He need the council saints so the yes. people won't fall. That's it. But if you're not of, the, of God, I think about um, drop on down to the sixth verse. I think about. Uh, Sixth, seven, eight. Amen. And we at John chapter Saint John chapter six, and now at verse sixty-two. Yes, sir. It says, "What and if you shall receive the Son of Man ascend up where he was before?" Read. It said, "It is the Spirit that quickeneth." It's the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The flesh don't profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, uh -huh. they are spirit. And they are life. The words <laughs> that counsel. That's right. They are life. You make sure you get a hold of it. That's Read. it. It says, but there are some of you that believe not. But there are some. Some of you that believe not. Now persuaded. Everybody that's in the building is not going to be saved. No. No. But it will be some that don't believe. Amen. Read. Amen. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were. Jesus knew where we sit, where we stand in today's saints. Mm -hmm. And we mean what we mean. That's right. That and we are you. true. Uh, we are alive. God know. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Read. Amen. It says, for Jesus knew. From the beginning. Jesus knew from the beginning. Who they were that believed not. He knew from the beginning. That's right. Yes, he did. And who should betray him. The whole time you've been there saying, God knew. That's right. That's right. You can say you've been there 20 years. God knew. I know 20 years, God know how long you served him. Yes. You can be there 50 years. Out of those 50 years, God know how long you've been serving him. You can get up with the testimony and say, I've been saved for 50 years. I've been in the church for 50 years, but God know if you've been serving him or not. That's it. That's it. 
agree? Amen. And he said, and he said, Therefore said I unto you, Therefore said I unto you, That no man can come unto me, Except it were given unto him of my father. No man can come unto me, Except it be given unto him of my father. From that time, From that time, Many of his disciples went back, And walked no more with him. We can't pull the wool over his eyes. We can't get by. He see right through our life. He see right through our plan. So there's no need of us standing here pretending, thinking, acting like that we are somebody that we are not. Because he know if we don't be serving him or not. And what they what he said? Amen. He said, Therefore said I unto you that uh -huh. no man. Uh -huh. Can come unto me except they were given unto him of my father. Of my father. From that time. From that time when they realized they couldn't get around him. Mm -hmm. From that time, many of his disciples went back. They and, went. That's right, went back. They went back because they knew that God knew they were there. They were the hypocrites. They were pretending. Amen. And walked so no more with him. Don't be in this way wasting your time. Yes. Yes. Hypocrite. Because oh. God knows. Yes, he do. Hallelujah. This thing is not based on how long you've been here. No. It's based off your life living. That's it. You serving God. But God yeah. see what oh, you're doing. Yes. yes, he do. Yes, he do. He see everything that we do, saints. Everything. And they was honest. They said they couldn't get by God. That's it. So what they did, they turned back. They turned back. And they said, I can't with him. Man. This man knew our life living. I can't get around him. So why stay here and waste my time? That's it. Labor in vain. That's it. Until the time. I'm going back. Yes. Go back. I'm going back. Yes. I can't follow him. And walk no more with him. That's why I say, make sure that we are fully walking with God. That's it. Make sure we're not Jesus, laboring. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's Those it. was a hard saying to the people. Yes, it was. They couldn't accept what God was saying. But that was the counsel. You gotta accept God's counsel saying. I understand that some of these things might be hard. But, but I said, Lord, help me. That's it. Help me to accept your word. That's it. Help me to obey your word. Oh, Lord of God. Sometimes that word come and hit us. That thing be oh, hard on the heart. That's you it. You being honest before God said. Yes, yes. Yes. You being honest. Yes. When you honest with God, God is able to help you. Yes, he is. Amen. Don't sit here saying, no, you're not doing right. God knows everything. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. That's it. You can't pull a will over eyes. No. God, I say. No he way. said he is the door. That's right. No, man, we got to go through that door. Yes, we do. Amen. If you're not doing right, God not going to open that door. No, he will not. You're not going to open this thing. So we don't want to be here laboring in vain. We just got to be honest with God. You know, some are going to labor in vain. Some are going to hang around. Tell you what, the first current thing I believe. First current thing, Tim. You can ready to sit down, saints. I know y'all got something out of this. Y'all see through the word that we can't get around God. Praise God. That's First Corinthians he chapter two. He know our works. Mm -hmm. He know. He know our works, saints. Yes, he do. He, he know that. He know we serving him or not. Mm -hmm. Read, sir. Amen. That's First Corinthians chapter ten, and verse one. Yes, sir. Amen. And we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 10 in verse 1. Mm -hmm. Moreover, brethren, Moreover, I, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. Don't be ignorant, mm -hmm. how, really? that, how that all our fathers were under the cloud. 
under the cloud and all passed through the sea all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea read amen and did all eat the same spiritual meat. You see, we all in here eating the spiritual meat. The same spiritual meats. Read. Amen. And did all drink that same spiritual drink. Y'all in here saying eating and drinking that spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock. We, they drank of that spiritual rock. That followed them and that rock was Christ. That followed them. Yeah, followed them. And that rock was Christ. Was Christ. But met with many of them, God was not well pleased. But with many of them, God, you, say, you can have the water of baptism. God can feed with the person given the Holy Ghost. That's it. But God said, with many of them, God was not well pleased. That's why the scripture said, "Live and not for the meat that perish." That's it. That's what it says. You lay them for the meat that perish, God is not going to be pleased with this place. Amen. Read. It said, For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Overthrown. Mm -hmm. In the wilderness. That's why we got to keep the word of God before us, saints. Because he said, With no counsel, the people are going to fall. Yes. Where no counsel is. That's it. Read. It says, Now these things were our examples. These things mm -hmm. were our examples. What we read here today, saints, is our example. Uh huh. Two people was in the church. Yes. Amen. Our examples. But the, the life they were living, saints, God was not pleased with it. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us. He was not pleased with it. That's it. That's it. Hmm. No Read. Amen. To the intent we should not lust after. Evil things. You shouldn't be lusting after the evil things. As they also lusted. They were. Can you imagine saying, be out there in the wilderness? Oh, yeah. It can't be that much much they love you can lust after this evil. But look at the world today. We got so much evil things around us. Huh? And at that time, it was in the wilderness. Yes. And the day said, we got so many things we got to face. Yes. So many things we're going to have to resist and reject. And here they are in the wilderness and cannot keep this thing. It make you think. It make you think things. We got to really live the life. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Anytime they can fall in the wilderness. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know for sure, so somebody will call today. Yes, yes, yes. Agree? Amen. It says, now these things were our examples. Uh -huh. To the intent we should not lust after evil things. Lust after evil things. As they also lusted. They also lusted. It said, neither be idolaters. Idolaters. As were some of them. As were some of them. As it is written. It is written. The people sat down to eat and drink. The people, they sat down to eat and drink. Sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. They forgot all about what they ate. They forgot all about what they drunk. They have a mind to do something else. Nobody says that you're going to have to be serious. Because God knows where we stand and sitting here today. If we are true or not. That's it. That's it. He knows. People sat down to eat and drink. Sat down to eat and drink. And rose up to play. And rose up to play. And said, neither let us commit fornication. Neither let us commit fornication. As some of them committed. As some of them committed. And fell in one day. And fell in one day. Three and twenty thousand. That's a lot of people that fell in one day. One day. One day. Three thousand and twenty. Take a hold of this council center. Yes. Yes. You take a hold of this council, you won't fall. 
Amen. Read. Amen. We're at verse 9. It says, Neither let us tempt Christ. Neither let us tempt Christ. As some of them also tempted. You know, I'm pretty sure we all are guilty to this scripture right there. Mm -hmm. we, might, we might not be picking up serpents. And playing with the snake. But we tempt the God in some kind of way. It could be the food you eat. I got high blood pressure, but I'm going to go ahead and eat it now. I believe God will keep it. Yeah. <laughs> we all it. guilty to the same. Oh, yes. But as soon as something happens, you can't play it on God because we're trying to tempt God. Neither let us tempt Christ. Neither let us tempt Christ. As some of them also tempted. Some also tempted. And were destroyed of serpents. You know, we can destroy our own substance. Yes, we can. That's it. Throw our own self tilting God. That's it. Like I said, it ain't got to be a serpent. It can be the thing that you eat. Mm -hmm. You can be sitting here destroying our own self. Oh, yeah. Our own self. Oh, yeah. Amen. Read. Amen. We're at verse 10. It says, Neither murmur ye. Neither murmur mm -hmm. ye. As some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Oh, yeah. You know, some people murmur oh, yeah. after the preacher preached. Mm -hmm. The preacher might not hear you. But you know God hears you? That's right. Yes, yeah. you do. Remember, saints, God hears everything that you say. That's it. God sees everything that you do. Amen. So don't murmur, saints. Don't complain about a thing. All we can do is say, Lord, help me. Cry out, Lord, I need help. What's the purpose of murmuring? Mm -hmm. His word is not going to change. No, no, not at all. He's not going to let the word down because you don't like it. No. We're going to have to come up to the word. Yeah. So you don't need to murmur about the word. That's it. That's it. Neither murmur ye. Murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. He teaches about the murmuring. I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure you probably see them move from seat to seat. They'll stop in the front. They'll work their way over to the back, murmuring. Then next thing you know, they'll be off the door. That's true. Murmurs. Yes. That's true. Amen. They can be in the same saints. But the more they sit under that word, that word be having them, they did the murmuring. They moved from seat to seat from each service. And next thing you know, they're out the door. You won't see them no more. Why? Because they're murmuring about the word. Right. Don't you know God is trying to help you? That's it. That's it. Amen. Neither murmur. Ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them. Happen unto them for examples. He let them know the same thing happened to them. That's right. For examples. Even though we are in the truth, yes. it can happen right to us today. Yes. And they are written for our admonition. Admonition. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. Uh huh. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth. Oh, Wherefore? Mm -hmm. Let him that thinketh he standeth. You know, I can stay at home today. You know, this, this, this message is not for me. I could have stayed at home today. That's Those things mean. don't pertain unto me. <laughs> you might be standing now. But some of the competition one day. Uh -huh. said, you might not need to rear it right there. Yeah. But down the road, you can look back. You know he preached that thing? Yes, he did. And now here I'm, I'm facing it. I didn't need it back then that time. But now I'm facing this thing. It said, wherefore? Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth. Thinketh he standeth. 
Take heed lest he fall. Take heed is that thing. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care how strong yes. you say you are. Yes. Take heed to it. Mm -hmm. Lest he fall. Okay, how long you say you was in the church? Take heed to it. Mm -hmm. Lest he fall. Because it's a possibility you can fall. That's it. Read. It says, There have no temptation taken you. But such as is common to man. It's common. Mm -hmm. But for a man to fall. It's, it's, it, let me correct myself. It's common for a man to be tempted. Yes. Tempted. I don't care how holy you are, you would never live above temptation. That's it. Christ, you declare with the holiest one. He walked here on earth and he was tempted. Yeah. So if he was tempted, how we're going to be tempted. God. That's it. But it said, that heart has no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. Such as common to man. It said, but God is faithful. That's why I said it earlier, said we, we try to direct you right to the one that is able to help you stand. He is able. That's it. That's it. But God is faithful. I can't, I can't keep you from falling. All I can do is preach the word. Yeah. The word is what's gonna help you. I can't do it. No, no. I can encourage you, but at the same time, I can't stop you from. Amen. Amen. I can't do it, saints. Amen. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. Common to man. It says, but God is faithful. God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Above that you are able. But will with the temptation. But will with the temptation. With the temptation. Also make a way to escape. God will help you to endure it. Thank you, Lord. God will help you to endure it, saints. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Read. Way to escape. Uh -huh. That he may be able to bear it. To bear it. Wherefore, my beloved, my my dearly beloved, uh -huh. flee from idolatry. Idolatry. Uh -huh. He's able to help us, say, but we gotta flee. Mm -hmm. Now we stand there. That temptation is beating y'all around the head. Oh God said he would make way to be speak, so I ain't going to go. I can stand it. Keep on standing there. Keep on standing there. And he tell you right there to flee. Flee from idolatry. You're going to have to flee some things to get away from temptation. Yes. Yes. You're going to have to flee things. Amen. You stay there long enough. That thing will be working on you. And you can't say, God, let me down. God ain't let you down. No. God ain't let none of us down say, you let God down. Yes. But you should flee. That's right. Flee flee. from idolatry. Amen. Say something, brother, but I just want to encourage all these things. Hold on to the same. Yes. Yes. Get grounded and live it yourself. Yes. Because we have the counsel. With no counsel, the people is going to fall. That's right. We're no counsel with. You know, nobody in the world should be living holier than we are. Because I'm telling the truth. That's it. Nobody That's in the true. world should be living holier than we are. Because we got the counsel. Yes. We got the word. Yes, we do. We are no counsel with. You mean to tell me Baptists is living holier than we are? A lot. You mean to tell me Catholic and live a holy than we are? No, no. Where no council is. Where no council is, the people fall. That's what it is falling the same thing. Yes. But and in the at the same time we think the same. Yes. The devil gives them a strong delusion. That's right. Thinking they're right, but they're wrong. That's right. But it's there no council. Where no council is, uh -huh. the people fall. The people fall. But in the multitude of counselors. In the multitude 
of counselors. You got somebody counseling the room yet? You get them all. Minutes of Gretchen. Keep on counseling the room, sir. I know you might be small in number. That's it. But keep counseling the room. Amen. If somebody want to stand, they'll come this way. If That's somebody right. want to overcome, they will come this way. That's right. It was set under the council. Yes. So we don't change the council for nobody. That's uh, it. Don't let no, don't take down for nobody. Hold on to the council. Yes. Don't let the council go for nobody. And the multitude because of counselors. And the multitude of council. We can, That's it. We there is them. safety. We can make it safe for people. That's it. Let them know. We make it safe for you. Amen. We're trying to withdraw you from going to the pit. That's it. We're trying to make it safe for the people. So y'all pray for the leadership. Pray for me. Pray for Mr. Gresham. That God will continue to word our mouth and feed our mind. So we can put out the council so the people won't fall. So we can make it safe for the people. Because you don't need my mouth. You need what God put in my mouth and what God put in his mouth. So we all pray for us as we pray for you. We love you. God bless you. The time is in your hands. Minister, Peter, bless you. So, amen.